Right, okay. This is going to be a tutorial on um, After Effects. How to create like camera movement in a still image. So the camera movement in a still image. Thank you. Like this. Yeah, it's slightly moving, isn't it? Right, okay, so we're just gonna get rid of this. And just find a picture or video that you wanna add like camera shake to if it's just a still image or video. Right, I've got a picture here. Just create a composition with that. See if you see here. Yeah. It's just a still image, doesn't move or anything. Now to make a bit of camera shake. First of all what you want to do is in doing this um, method is you wanna make it slightly bigger than the comp size so you can so it can move around instead of having like black bits like that showing which isn't very good. So yeah. And for this to work you wanna make this a 3D layer. Okay, so create a camera. Thirty-five millimeters. Millimeters, I mean, we're talking about water. Yeah, thirty-five millimeters is fine. You don't need you don't need to change any of this unless you know what you're doing in it. You need to do it for whatever reason. Just click OK. Now to control the camera, I find it easy just to create a null object. I don't think I don't think it's compulsory to make this a 3D object, but I'm just going to leave it off for now. Um, parent the camera to the null. And just, just put this to half so we can look at it easily. You can see that it doesn't do anything. It's not doing anything. That's because on the null, click on the null, hit P for position. You have uh, Alt click on the keyframe button and then get rid of that. Type in wiggle um, in bracket. Yeah, you can you can put whatever numbers according to what you want. But I think the first number, which I put one, I think that like represents the second, and then the second number represents the amount of times it moves and how much. I think I'm not quite sure on that yet. Let's just have a look at this. As you can see, it's moving. It doesn't look that good because it doesn't half resolution. Just so we can work with it quicker. We're I mean, not waiting for it to, you know. Let's put it on full. Ram preview it. Yeah. So let's have a look at this. Yeah. That that looks pretty good, but it's not what I want. I want it to be a bit slower and a bit more steady. So I'm gonna click P again. Just click on the letter arrow going down and it'll come up with what you wrote what you what you wrote, sorry. And I'm gonna change I'm just gonna put five. See what that's like. Boom. Um, yeah, wait. Uh, yeah. See, that's a bit more slower and smooth, which is the effect I was going for. And you don't have, you don't just have to do the position. I, that's usually all I do. But if you want, you could. Do the same for um, rotation. Oops, don't want that. And I'll click on it. You could do the same wiggle one five. See it kind of tilts as well as moving around. That's what I mean, make sure that you don't get this black up in the corner here. 
you don't get any of this black showing. So that's why you've got to enlarge the picture so none of that black shows. See this. But that that's, that looks a bit off, so I'm just gonna to delete that. And I'm sure you could do it with scale and orientation and everything. Whatever whatever neat whatever suits your video and whatever you want, really. So yeah, this has been a, a tutorial on how to create like camera shaking and after effects. And if you've got any questions just leave comments or whatever. It's not it's not rocket science, so I don't expect any questions, but you know. Um I might make some more tutorials. Dunno yet. Right anyway. See ya.